the rest of the story. Farms have favorite animals, or ought to. And Farmer John's favorite was a horse, a handsome, good-natured two-year-old stallion. The trouble began insidiously with a tiny scratch on the horse's ankle. The scratch became infected. The veterinarian prescribed antibiotics, first an ointment and then a shot. Still the infection spread. The horse grew listless, depressed. A related digestive disorder arose. The animal began losing weight. I mean 50, 100, 200 pounds. And then one desperate day, the vet discovered Farmer John Fort leaning heavily against a stall gate, gazing down into the tired, bewildered eyes of the stricken creature. The farmer's kind face was etched with grief and apprehension. Horses in a lot of pain, he whispered. Each time he goes down, I think it'll be the last. The vet examined the animal, reported the worst. It was extreme colitis by now. Nothing could be done but end his suffering. The vet expected a somber nod from John. Instead, the latter looked away and ran his fingers through his white hair. The vet repeated, I don't think we're going to be able to save this horse. Let's go ahead and put him down. Well, John's voice cracked as he replied, That really doesn't suit me. The vet said okay and walked away, which might have been the end of a sad story, but this is. There was another veterinarian, an old-timer named Bob Copeland, who it was said could raise a horse from the dead. John Fort called him, reminded Bob of his reputation. He said, this one's not dead yet, so it ought to be easy for you. Well, Bob came over to John's place and looked at the patient. Yep, it was about as bad as it gets, way beyond the reach of modern veterinary medicine. But there was something else. There was an old-fashioned treatment. Bob could not even recall where he'd learned about it. Buttermilk, he said. We find a farm that has real unpasteurized buttermilk, then let it sit in the sun until it gets a crust on it and dead flies all over it, and then you feed that to your horse. Just buttermilk? asked John incredulously. And Bob replied, just buttermilk. Well, they found some. They let it sit out the way Bob had said. The horse was so weak, a goner, really. He could barely lift his head to drink, but he drank the sour stuff. And then ever so gradually, his diarrhea subsided. His strength returned. He was eating now, digesting now. He was getting well. Must put a new kind of bacteria in the intestine, old Bob Copeland mused. Whatever it was, was wonderful. Farmer John Fort called it the most incredible recovery of any animal he'd ever seen. Indeed, because one year later, that same horse named Invisible Ink entered the 2001 Kentucky Derby. Oh yes, that prestigious race ultimately was won by a horse named Monarcos, running the second to fastest time in Derby history. But finishing a close second to Monarcos, <laughs> that's right, Invisible Ink, a horse that had made history too, running in the Derby after returning from the dead. And now you know the rest of the story.